The following is a production of Learfield Sports. On Saturday night in Indianapolis, the Wisconsin Badgers made history. They're going to the Rose Bowl for a third straight year, something that has never been said about Wisconsin football. The Badgers take the Big Ten Championship by dominating Nebraska 70 to 31, 539 rushing yards for Brett Bielema's team against a very good Nebraska defense. The Badgers simply carved them up on Saturday night. We'll hear from some of the victorious players. We'll take in part of that post-game celebration. We'll step into the coach's classroom with receivers coach Zach Azani, and we'll chat with Brett Bielema. It's all coming up on the Badger Sports Report. And a fly sweep, Gordon running left, turns a corner, 45-50, 45-40, 35, breaks a tackle, 30, he's gone, 20, 10, 5, touchdown Wisconsin! Melvin Gordon gets the Badgers on the board, a minute 59 in. From the gun, Martinez calls for the ball, takes the snap, he will play fake, shoots it right side, high pass, picked off, McCormick! Morty down the left sideline, 10, 5, touchdown Wisconsin, a tipped pass, and Cromarty turns it in to a pick six, and it's 13 to nothing, Wisconsin. Phillips in the shotgun, Abby in motion, he'll take the handoff, and he stops, sets, throws, left side, Phillips is open, got it, inside the 10, to the 5, and down to the one yard line, Jared Abradaris on the pass to Kurt Phillips, first First down, goal to go. Fake the fly sweep, handoff ball, has room. He's to the 50, spin move. He's to the 45, left side 40, 35, 30, 25 to the 20. Slips a tackle, he's gone. Ball to the end zone. Touchdown, Wisconsin. Phillips will fake the fly sweep, gives to White, big hole, 35, 40, 45, 50. Breaks a tackle, 40. He's to the 30, White to the 20, 10, 5. Touchdown, Wisconsin. Ball, high step to the five, touchdown Wisconsin. Pick off by Taylor, 40, 45, 50. Fires picked off, Borland with room, 40, makes a tackle, touchdown James White. The Wisconsin Badgers are headed to Pasadena. There it is, Ron Davis. In zone, Abraderas, he has it, touchdown Wisconsin. And it's intercepted by Shelton Johnson. The Badger Sports Report with Brett Bielema is brought to you by your Badgerland Chevy dealers, Coca-Cola, Charter Communications, the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board, Hyundai, Adidas, and UW Health a cornerstone partner of Wisconsin Athletics. Football, Wi-Fi, wings, now that's a business plan. Glad you like it. Question is, how are you liking Charter Business? Well, our internet's a lot more powerful than with phone company DSL. It can actually run all this now. Plus, we've got reliable phone and we're saving like crazy. Another everyday victory. Let me see your end zone dance. No, I, I don't dance. All right, let's just do a flying chest bump and call it a day. To save over 25% versus the phone company and get up to a $500 gift card, call now. Hello, Hi. may I start? Special medium water lemon three ice cubes, thank you. Less, more, no, perfect. No, no, that guy. Hi. No, no. Hello. No. Hi. Yes. I'll take the Elantra, please. Great. Which one? An easy decision just got harder. Sorry about that. The Elantra, now also available in Coupe and GT from Hyundai. When you buy Wisconsin dairy products, your hard-earned dollar brings you more than just the quality and great taste you know and love. It supports the dairy industry, which in turn reinvests that money back into your community, resulting in better public services, abundant recreation opportunities, and a beautiful place to call home. In all, Dairy contributes $26.5 billion to Wisconsin's economy and eventually comes back to benefit you. To learn more, visit youtube.com slash dairyimpactwisconsin. 
The Learfield Sports Directors Cup is the crowning achievement in college athletics, awarded annually to the nation's best overall program in each division, both women's and men's sports. Celebrating its 20th anniversary, the Learfield Sports Directors Cup proudly honors exceptional student athletes and their schools. To follow your favorite team, visit the directorscup.com. Look for standings regularly in USA Today or follow the Learfield Sports Directors Cup on Twitter or Facebook. The Learfield Sports Directors Cup, the crowning achievement in college athletics. Back at Lucas Oil Stadium, joined by Badgers head coach Brett Bielema, the coach of the back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back Big Ten champions. Making history tonight here, Brett. Uh, unbelievable feeling. Obviously, a lot of credit to our coaches, our players, um, all the fans that traveled here and made it so special. But to do this, and obviously it hadn't been done in a long time, but to do it for the first time in Wisconsin means a lot. You know, people were asking you during the course of the week, okay, how, what do your guys have left? You know, tough losses. But in talking, you mentioned it during the week. Anybody who talked to your players, there was just, there was something about them that they, they knew what was out there. They so that did. kept them going. Uh, I think uh, we've preached all along. We got great kids, great character, great, you know, just guys that morally buy into what we're doing here. And uh, they knew what was out there. They knew that trip to Pasadena. We've been here before. We really like it. Uh, we really like Pasadena. We got to get a win. Uh, you know, we've. We've come close, and we want to make sure we put ourselves in a position to have success. Tell us a little bit about some of the things you're doing, some wrinkles, obviously, on offense. Yeah, I thought Matt Canada and the offensive staff put together a really good game plan, kept them on uh, on edge, uh, attacked the whole game. Uh, obviously threw a couple wrinkles in there that I don't think anybody really saw coming, but the good thing is there's a couple that we didn't even use. You know, you know the fly sweeps with Melvin Gordon, and then you had that nice little look with uh, Sam Arneson and, and uh, Kurt Phillips. What's the name of that again? Uh, Zebra, I believe it is. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it was – it was fun to see our kids, you know, have a lot of fun. I mean, there was some trick plays in there, but it was the meat and potatoes of what we do that got us this win. You know, it was amazing. You guys, you show the speed. You get asked about it a lot, but I think you demonstrated that you have some pretty fast guys who wear Wisconsin uniforms, Melvin Gordon, James White, Monte Ball, to name three. You could get outside, and then when you have to, you could run over. People. Yeah, I thought uh, kind of an all all-inclusive package. You know, we did some power run game inside. We hit the perimeters, hit some play action. Uh, we thought we've had three quarterbacks start. We're going to throw James White into the controversy and see if we need another fourth with that quarterback uh, or that run play action pass on the goal line before the half. That was huge. And then Jared Aberderis, too, throwing one. Abby throwing one to Kurt. <laughs> Kurt, uh, he goes, Coach, I was going to reach the ball in the end zone, but I've heard you say that we don't reach it, we run it. And I'm like, absolutely. Uh, so it was, it was just great execution. And, all the way around. Let's talk about the defense. Taylor Martinez, you've talked about him all you know, before the first game against Nebraska, how fast he is. And, yeah, he popped a couple plays. But for the most part, again, it looked like your defense in the guts of the game had that group. Continue. It did. Uh, I couldn't say enough about our defensive coaches, you know, to have the plan on first and second down. We know third down we get a little more creative. But uh, the way that our guys bought into the week, the plan, the operation, and obviously to come out and play as well as they did made us all very, very well. Yeah, the way they bought in all year. Because your guys had some – there were some opportunities to just roll it up and say, you know, it's not going to happen. Your guys never thought that. You know, and, and of course, Matt, and you and I talk about it all the time. There's a lot of teams that would, you know, fold at certain times, you know, put the, put a little bit of a, a final touch uh, that, uh, you know, maybe they'd fold and pack it in. But our guys, every time they get knocked down, they just come back up stronger. As we do this, you've done probably already 25 interviews, but you're still, you're still letting this settle down, settle in. Three straight trips to the Rose Bowl. It hasn't happened ever at Wisconsin. It hasn't happened in the Big Ten for a long time put that in some perspective you know um, obviously going back to last January we knew it was a an opportunity for us to do that and you can't just create that you have to earn it before you even get this opportunity so uh, it says a lot about uh, the character of kids that we recruit the kind of people that we bring in year in and year out and uh, hopefully about uh, going out and finishing this baby off well, Monte with another big night James White four touchdowns rushing one throwing but you get some other guys like Chris Borland back in there too for I me mean, for everybody you're happy for but you were, you had a couple guys get hurt during the game, but going in, you were reasonably healthy. Yeah, we were excited, uh, you know, to get a couple guys back defensively. We actually had three guys that didn't start in the game beforehand uh, that were back for this one. So, uh, again, a really good four-quarter effort, and, and excited about the opportunity in the weeks ahead. Final one for you, a chance to rest up some guys, and then you get to do the the bowl preparation again. Yeah, we got a, a uh, we'll take a week here to kind of just gather our our thoughts. Um, We'll, we'll, we'll rep them and practice them in the weight room, but we'll probably stay out of practice until next Saturday, and then we'll come up with a practice plan for the weeks ahead. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Badgers head coach Brett Bielema, the Badgers back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back Big Ten champions. More to come as Badger Sports Report continues. Where others saw lumber, we recognized a treasure. 
Where others saw the night, we chose the stars. Where others saw pieces, we unlocked the puzzle that could mean the end of paralysis and cancer. Since 1848, thinkers and achievers at Wisconsin have fearlessly sought ideas that transform the world. Keep on, Wisconsin. Keep on. It's just something you can never imagine when you commit here. It's just a dream come true, some God-given. Uh, you know, it's a lot. Of, it's just blessed. It's a blessing feeling. Third, I mean, third time's a charm. You know, we're going, we're going out to Pasadena, we're going to win this game against Sanford. We're already talking about it. We're already pumped up. So, you know, we're enjoying the win. Great game today, and uh, that's about it. I'll tell you exactly what it says. It says the hard work pays off because we never stopped grinding through those three losses. We could have put our heads down and said, you know, it's not fair. It's not fair. But we kept grinding. We kept working. We got better, and obviously, you saw the result. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, we knew we knew exactly what we had had all season. You know, we knew what we were capable of. I mean, we went out there today and we showed it. We showcased it on a big stage, and that's exactly what we needed to do to earn some respect in this country and do what we do. Just to do something that's never been done in, in, in program history, it, it has to mean a lot. No matter how you know big or small the stat is, um, to do something that's never been done. Hey, you're a trailblazer. You know, hopefully that's a, that's a sign of things to come. You know, even when we're gone, you know, for for kids coming in here, you know, to know that. We have a winning history, and, and you know we, we, we want to play in the biggest games. It's a tremendous sound. Uh, it's a tremendous feeling. You know, you you come here from high school, you come and play football at this level, and you feel like you're so lucky to even play football at this level. And then you get a chance to play at a championship level for for three years in a row, something that nobody in Wisconsin history has ever done. It's it's really just tremendous. That's exactly it. You know, the message really this week was just to forget everything that's happened in the past, and it really was a one-game season. This was it was our chance to show everybody, you know, who we were, and, and get a chance to. Win another Big Ten championship and um, I think everybody did a tremendous job of following that plan. We, we let up last game you know and this time you know we, we went in the locker room as a team we gathered up and we said you know come on guys let's keep our foot on the pedal let's do this um, no matter how much we we're up by it's 0-0 zero, zero, you know so that's that's how we took it and we came out fighting. I kept telling myself you know this this is a big game you know I, I want to uh, install some trust in my uh, my coaches and teammates so all practice all week you know I Tell myself, go hard, go hard, go hard. You know, some good's gonna come out of it. And uh, this is a big stage, you know, make something happen. And, and that's what I try to do. I try to run hard and, and finish every run. Uh, I, mean, I told them that, you know, if I can, I, I'll make sure to call you two up here. Call them up there with me, but they didn't let me. So I told them that, hey, I'll just pass the trophy down to you guys because, I mean, they had a great, great, great game too. And I just told them that, you know, this one belongs to, to all of us, all the running backs. And especially, obviously, the offensive line did a great job, the fullbacks and the wide receivers blocking downfield. But, you know, we came with a mindset today that you know, today's going to be our day. I cherish just one more. I most definitely, the, the last two times were special, but this one means a lot more just because of everything we've been through. You know, everyone was against us, our backs were against the wall, and just to see that we blocked everyone out and kept fighting says a lot. These next two games, can you erase everything? Uh, you know, we lost some heartbreakers to some real good teams. Uh, but you know these games are the ones that matter. You know these are the games that the people you know truly truly remember. And you know like you said, we started hot today. Um, we started hot when we played against them back at their hometown. But the diff difference today is you know we kept it on all game and it was, it was it was a good time. I mean you know this team knew we could do it, so we just went out there and had fun. It was a great game. The Wisconsin Badgers have made history. Words we have never said involving Wisconsin football. The Badgers are headed to the Rose Bowl for the third straight year. Well, I think just being 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 the only team, well, there's only three teams who have ever played in this, this game, must be in twice in Michigan State and Nebraska. I think us having played in it last year, it was, a, it was a bit of an advantage. You know I mean? I, I didn't have the big eyes like I did last year. Um, I kind of already knew the feel, and um, I mean, hopefully Rose Bowl will be my second time starting it, so I can kind of be comfortable there, too. I mean, it feels awesome. I mean, we talked about that all week. Um, you know, we, that's kind of thing. Each snap, we were kind of thinking of having that ring in front of us. Coach Z kind of talked to his receivers and said, play like you know, someone showed you that they had that ring there. For, so every snap, you tried as hard as you could. Um, and that's kind of what we thought about all game, is just getting that, getting that third Big Ten championship. 
Um, this is awesome. It's an amazing experience just to be able to do it once is, 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 is a, definitely a great accomplishment, but to be able to do it do it three times back to back to back is, I mean, it's, it's unheard of and it hasn't been done for 30 years and that's probably why because it's hard, it's hard to do. I mean, especially if we go out and, you know, win this Rose Bowl, nobody's going to remember three overtime losses or, you know, five losses by an average of four points. Like, nobody's going to remember that. You know, they're going to remember Wisconsin, three-time Big Ten champion. And We are pioneers, pathfinders, trailblazers. Every day we explore the biological frontier in search of a cure for cancer, inventing treatments, establishing protocols, bettering humankind. We are the world-class physicians, researchers, and healthcare professionals at the University of Wisconsin Carbone Cancer Center, Wisconsin's only NCI-designated comprehensive cancer center. UW Health. Remarkable. family's favorite show shouldn't have to fight to be seen. With Charter, you get four DVRs, so now every family member can watch what they want, when they want, where they want, without any battles. Call now to get DVR service for your home. Hello, may I start? Special medium water lemon three ice cubes, thank you. Less, more, no, perfect. No, no, that guy. Hi. No, no. Hello. No. Hi. Yes. I'll take the Elantra, please. Great. Which one? An hmm? easy decision just got harder. Sorry about that. The Elantra, now also available in Coupe and GT. From Hyundai. Ah, the workout is over. Time to recover, refuel, and re-energize. Recent studies suggest that one drink can help muscles recover faster than other leading sports drinks. Delicious, nutritious chocolate milk. With its powerful package of protein, potassium, calcium, and six other essential nutrients, shouldn't chocolate milk be your choice? Got chocolate milk? He's at the 15, the 10, 5, touchdown! The Coach's Classroom is brought to you by Hyundai. Hi, I'm Zach Gazzani, wide receiver coach here at University of Wisconsin. Today we're going to talk about plant and drive, which is one of the foundations we have here for uh, route running. This particular drill focuses on a breaking point for us. Uh, a breaking point for us here at Wisconsin is any route where we have to stop, change speed, change directions. So we have to physically break our body down, change speed to change directions. Okay, now the biggest thing here we're focusing on is trying to get our upper body, as you can see Jeff here, work in conjunction with your lower body. Okay, you need everything. Your upper body needs to pump and pull yourself to your breaking point or wherever you're going, which in this case is that cone right next to me. So we, want a, we have a plant leg and we have a dead leg. Our plant leg, in this case, is Jeff's right foot. Our dead leg is his left foot. He's gonna try and generate as much power using his upper body and lower body to get from cone to cone, okay? Now, these represent routes. So in any particular six cone drill or five cone drill, it's almost like running five or six different routes. Okay, now we will run through this and these are what we call developers, which we'll do every single day to try and develop our route running. As you can see, we're still a little bit, uh, this is early on in the spring, a uh, new drill that, that uh, these guys aren't used to yet that we're getting better at each and every day. But as you can see, some of the good and some of the bad, A.J. Jordan here, number 81, see him raising up a little bit. We don't want to do that. We want to stay at the same level with the same speed. But he is pumping and pulling with his upper body and his lower body. Watch his dead leg shoot right to the next cone. So this uh, is like running a curl, running a dig, running a hitch, anything again where we're stopping, changing speed and changing direction at the same time. As you can see, Jake right here, uh, Jake is stopping and starting, which we don't want to do. We want everything one fluid motion. Kenzel here is also getting a little bit stuck uh, in the ground, but he's starting to learn how to use his upper body in conjunction with his lower body. It's no different than walking, running routes. As you can see, Jordan here in the green, 
Uh, Jordan's baby stepping, tiptoeing, backing into the cone a little bit. We don't want that. We want a full speed explosion. Watch his arms start stopping, start chopping. We don't want to do that. It's no different than walking and turning while you're walking. We want our body to be exactly the same as if we're walking only we're running full speed. Okay, let's watch uh, a couple uh, a couple routes here where this is coming into play. Down here at the bottom. Okay, this is Chase Hammond down here at the bottom. He's going to run what we call an in route here. He's going to use a plant and drive. Okay, which is an edge break. Right there it is. Now, you can see there's his plant leg. His right leg is plant leg. There's his uh, dead leg, which is his left leg. Okay, his upper body isn't working completely in conjunction yet. Uh, as he gets better, it certainly will. But it causes him to go flat downhill, which is what we want. Right into the window, he makes a nice catch. So let's watch it one more time. Again, he's looking a little bit early, which allows his breaking point to get a little bit sloppy, which he's going to clean up. But you can see the plant and drive right there, getting him into the window. Okay, here's, uh, here's another catch, another plant and drive. There's actually two going on right here up top with Chase Hammond and Kenzel Doe. Chase is at the top again. He's going to lean right there. Use a little low drive, but he's going to plant and drive a little bit sloppy, but again, exaggerating the drill forces him to do it right when it needs to be. There's him on an edge break, making a nice catch in the spring game for us. Kinzel right here in the slot is going to do the same thing, only at five yards. Okay, he's going to plant and drive. I tell these guys all the time, there's nothing but cones where you're breaking. It allows those two to go nice and flat. I'm Zach Azani. Thanks for coming into the coach's classroom. More Wisconsin fans choose Chevy over the competition. Here's why. Chevy Malibu gets up to 37 miles per gallon with more standard horsepower than Ford Fusion or Toyota Camry. Malibu's warranty is 40,000 miles longer than Ford and Toyota. Plus, Malibu comes with OnStar and the available new MyLink system. Right now, lease a Chevy Malibu for $199 per month. Great fuel economy, high-tech features. Now that is a winning combination. See your Badgerland Chevy dealer today. What light does gets in your head. You can't avoid it. You can't escape it. Because what light does weighs on you. Do what light does in the 7.9 ounce Audi Zero Five Star. magicians or superheroes. We have no special powers or magic wands. We cannot pull rabbits out of our hats or make things disappear. We are not magicians, but some days we do perform a little magic. We are the world-class physicians, researchers, and healthcare professionals at the American Family Children's Hospital at the University of Wisconsin. UW Health. Remarkable. The Badger Sports Report with Brett Bielema is brought to you by your Badgerland Chevy dealers, Coca-Cola, Charter Communications, the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board, Hyundai, Adidas, and UW Health a cornerstone partner of Wisconsin Athletics. For this week's Great Day and Great Question of the Week, we will turn the question to the players. The question comes from Craig in Atlanta who wants to know what makes Lucas Oil Stadium such a special place to play. I mean, I just think the uh, atmosphere all together, you know, uh, all those fans, you know, they're, they're there for probably one of the most important games of the year. 
Uh, you know, Lucas Oil is just a beautiful venue. Uh, you know, it's a pro field. Anytime you play in a pro field, is kind of a you know a special thing because you know a lot of guys have dreams of playing at that level. So you know, just overall the entire experience there. You know, knowing that you're playing on a field that you know professionals play at, that you know one day you dream to play at as well. Uh, and just the atmosphere, the you know the fans, what they bring to the table, and just knowing what's at stake, I think is what makes it the best. I think just the environment, the fact that it's a dome, it's closed in, it can get pretty loud. Um, it, it's just been built, I think, what four or five years ago. And you know, I'm a big Colts fan, so I'm always excited to go down there. And I, I just think the fact that the, the things are closed in, and you have two sets of fans in the game, so you have no idea who they're cheering for half the time. So you kind of really have to watch the plays. So just just the noise factor. It's a good size for this game. I think it's uh, it's NFL stadium, obviously, but it, um, it's going to be a packed house. And uh, it's a dome, too, so it gets really loud. I think Lucas Oil Stadium is a really cool place to play. And I think it has to do with the stadium itself and the city. I think Indianapolis is a tremendous city, the way that it's built. And they have that whole downtown area really interconnected. And it's really user friendly and fan friendly. So I think that's going to be phenomenal for that. And it was really easy for the fans to get in and out and things like that. Um, the stadium's tremendous. I think it's a really nice place. And obviously, playing inside, it's going to be a little bit different. But uh, it really is a tremendous place to play. I think it's just the atmosphere. You know, you, have, you look up, you know, and you see half of the stands. When, and the last year was Michigan State, so half of them were green and half of them were red, and it was just so much excitement in the stadium. It kind of you just you just fed off of it, you know. I mean, I don't know if it was the stadium itself or just the atmosphere because it was a Big Ten championship game, but it was amazing last year. So. I think that just the, the just the environment, knowing that it's an NFL stadium, and a lot of great teams have played there, and you know, just that's where the Big Ten championship game is, and um, that alone kind of gets you going. Thanks to Craig for his question. The Great Dane has four locations in Madison, downtown, as well as Hilldale, Fitchburg, and the east side of town. And, of course, there's a Great Dane up in Wausau as well. Well, that'll do it, at least for the time being, covering Badger football. We invite you to join us next week as we turn our attention to Bo Ryan and the Wisconsin basketball program as they continue the non-conference portion of their schedule, getting ready for what should be an exciting Big Ten basketball season. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks for watching. For more than 60 years, the Mendota Gridiron Club has been a loyal supporter to the Badger football program. In my 20 years in college football, I have never seen anything like the Mendota Gridiron Club. As a member, you'll get closer to the program with weekly meetings during the season, special events, golf outings, and more. In today's tough economy, we appreciate your support now more than ever. Become a part of something special. Become a Mendota Gridiron Club member today. What light does, gets in your head. You can't avoid it. You can't escape it. Because what light does, weighs on you. Do what light does in the 7.9 ounce Audi Zero Five Star. Where others saw limits, we found a key to feeding a hungry planet. Where others thought big, we proved the power of small. Where others saw a frozen desert, we discovered a lens into the heart of the universe. Since 1848, thinkers and achievers at Wisconsin have fearlessly sought ideas that transform the world. Keep on, Wisconsin. Keep on.